everybody and welcome back to Jazzy61. So today's video we're going to get into one of my two week grocery hauls. I'm still a little bit under the weather but I'm going to push through for this video for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a like, share, thumbs up, pass it around, subscribe, all of that good jazz. Welcome if you are new as well and welcome back to my returning subscribers. So we're going to go ahead and get into what we got from Walmart. I think we're going to end up going to probably Target and Sam's Club later on. Um, and I also ordered something from Amazon, which is unusual, I know, but <laughs> they didn't have it in stock where we are. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what we got from Walmart now. All right, you guys, a few dishes over there in the sink. I'm going to get to those. Um, <laughs> going to start down here on this end of the island and work our way over. So we have our breads for the next couple of weeks. We might pick up some more. I'm not really sure just yet. But they had the brown sugar cinnamon swirl bread this morning. I think someone bought them all, so they had to substitute them. Someone buys all of them. It's the same thing like the little waters here. Someone goes in and just clears the shelf out. I saw at one point it was like a truck, and I could not find the cereal I was looking for for a long time. And in the parking lot, they literally came out with a pickup order, and it was all cereal. And they had like two big trolley carts full of just cereal, and they loaded the entire back of a truck up with just cereal so people do that here where they just go and buy up everything so we have to catch it when they put it on the shelf i guess but we have the pepperidge farm cinnamon swirl bread my husband and our toddler also eat this they eat this toast in the morning with peanut butter things like that so we got four of those we got some hearty white bread this is for sandwiches i got some turkey meat over there i'm going to be using soon as well as some king's hawaiian sweet rolls for when my husband grills or when i make something I'm in the slow cooker if I make some meat for whatever reason, we'll have that there. Let me move this over here. I don't know why it's there. Then moving over here, you guys, muffins. So I've been trying to find a good blueberry muffin. And I went to one of the little grocery stores here. They were like sour tasting. The ones at Sam's Club are overly sweet. Well, these are the Walmart ones. They look kind of messed up because my husband turned them over on the countertop. I noticed they were upside down. And so they smushed up against the top. So... But it's fine. These are really good muffins from Walmart. You guys, I love these muffins. I went through them kind of quickly and I was like trying to save that last one. <laughs> so I picked up two of those for me to eat over the next couple of weeks for like breakfast and things like that. Back here we have a half a gallon of whole milk. Um, my munchkin has started eating cereal and things again, so I got some of that. As well as another thing of white cran strawberry. You guys know this is my favorite right now. So I picked up one more of those. And then we'll move over here into this section. You guys know we have a little bitty one now. Another little bitty person that's starting to eat regular food. So I picked up some baby food for him. So this is chicken with chicken broth. I think this one is turkey. That's a chicken one too. There it is. Turkey with turkey broth. And then we have some apples, carrots, and one of the mango. Um, I do have some banana, but I already put those in the pantry. Just a little mush banana. They look like this one. And then back here, we have some seasoning. So we have thyme and rosemary. So here's the rosemary. And then here is the crushed thyme. I got another thing of Kool-Aid because I've been making Kool-Aid for my little guy. Um, and he really likes Kool-Aid a lot. So I went ahead and picked up another little thing of this for him. We have some barbecue sauce. I don't know. When we get barbecue from places, I don't really like the barbecue sauce that they make. I like this one. So I'd like to have some of it in the pantry. Got some ranch because we had some ranch and then it went bad because we didn't eat it all. So <laughs> that's my ranch, some ranch seasoning. So I make a white chicken chili, you guys, and it is so good, but you have to have one of these uh, little seasoning packets to go in and it helps enhance the flavor, I promise. Um, and I know it doesn't make sense, but it's actually really good. So I picked up some of these. We got chicken broth back here because I think I'm gonna make some chicken noodle soup for sure here pretty soon. Um, it's gotten warmer, but it's still kind of cool out. So I wanna make some chicken noodle soup. So I needed some chicken broth for that. We also have some Fiesta blend cheese. I was looking for it for my chili the other day when I made some of that white chicken chili, had none. I was so surprised, I always have cheese. Did not have any. Then we have some Pearl Milling Company, formerly known as Aunt Jemima. Um, some pancake mix because I like to make breakfast on the weekends yogurts so this is for me and my husband and then these are for our little guy he eats this only full organic kids yogurt he really likes those so i got some more of those two packs and then we have our produce i got some celery as i told you guys i want to make some chicken noodle soup I need celery for my chicken noodle soup we have some romaine lettuce one red onion one white onion one green bell pepper i got four bananas 
five bananas. There it is. I got five bananas because we are, like I said, trying to move Little Man into eating food, food now, as well as his milk. And I think mushy bananas would be something that's good for him to try to feed himself with that um, he can kind of gnaw at. And then I also got some fresh mint for tea. As I mentioned to you guys, I am still getting over something both boys as well as my husband and we make a lot of tea so I got some more mint because we didn't have any um and well we had some but it was starting to go bad so I got some more and then I also got carrots you guys and this is also for my chicken noodle soup all right you guys moving on over here to another part of the island I just want to give you guys a little heads up if you hear something rolling around back here my little one is in his walker right now and um, he may run my ankle over, so you might see some little legs running past here in a minute. <laughs> but that's what that is. So up here on the front, we have uh, some snackage. So I got some Nutter Butters as well as some Honey Buns because I've been really, like I said, still on Honey Buns. You guys can see I've already opened the box there. So, <clears throat> yeah. I also got some Ready Whip for my coffees that I make sometimes in the morning. We have some Tostitos Cantina Chips. Those are for the chili when I make it. Then we have a few canned goods. Um, we have some diced tomatoes, mild green chilies. We have two things of can of black beans, some whole kernel corn, and some bushes baked beans. I make my own jazzed up version of those, so I like to have those restocked because I made some here recently. These are for my um, chicken noodle soup. Uh, I like to have the egg pasta, the egg noodles. And so I picked up a bag of those. I used this entire bag in that. We have some elbow noodles as well as two red baron cheese trio pizzas for our little one because he really likes pizza. And then I have some Velveeta small block. Someone asked me about that, um, what I use this for. I use it for a number of things. You can use it for mac and cheese. You can use it for chili. You can use it for um, chicken spaghetti. You can use it for all kinds of stuff. So I like to have some of it on hand just in case I want to throw it into something or make a dip of some sort. So I went ahead and picked up another one because I used my last block. I got some mesquite turkey breast. This is for my sandwiches. We have some cereal back here. My little one asked me for cereal the other day. I didn't have any of the cereals that he normally eats. So I picked up some of these tutti fruities. You guys are like three loops. <laughs> um, then back here, we have some Bertoli style pastas, you guys. We have the chicken Florentine, and then we also have the chicken broccoli fettuccine Alfredo. Um, I like to have some things that on hand as kind of quick meals, really quick, really easy, pop them into the, um, on the stove in the microwave, something really, really fast for the family to eat when, you know, we don't feel like cooking, we had a really long day. So I got two different bags of those. I also got some sea salt kettle chips. We've been eating a lot of kettle brand chips, you guys. See, here he is. About to run my ankles over. Um, I got some sea salt potato chips, you guys, for my sandwiches. I like to have those. I started eating them when we started going to the Tropical Smoothie Cafe. <laughs> Are you following me? A little bit? Okay. So I got chips. We have a roast back here, as well as two things of the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Yes. Boneless, skinless chicken thighs, you guys. I like these a lot. I like that they're a little bit juicier than some of the other stuff. So I went ahead and picked up those as well. He's on the move, guys. Mm. Yeah, I know. You're kind of blocking me, but I need to get over there. You see things? <laughs> yep, you see things. Okay, okay. Can I go? You can run my ankle over. He's been scratching the back of my, my knee while I'm trying to film. <laughs> okay, mom's going to film somewhere. Are you gonna? Okay, running over my leg there. Back to the stuff here on the island, you guys. If I make a funny noise, it's because he's running over my ankles. All right. So <laughs> over here on this end, you guys, we have deodorant. I use the Dove deodorant. I have this one, coconut and pink jasmine. And then I also got the, um, I think this is a shea butter version. Yep, shea butter. And then I also got these for my hair. This one is a detangling spray with apricot and Australian macadamia oil. And then I picked up some heat protectant, which is the same as this one. I was looking for the one with the jojoba oil that we usually use, but they didn't have that one or I couldn't find it at least. So I got these two. I also picked up a razor for my legs, you guys. It is complicated to shave and they were telling me that I'm not supposed to actually use razors. Did you know that? They said you shouldn't shave with razors. They said you should wax or use like an electric one. I don't, I don't know. So I picked up one of those. I got, let me move up here first. Two little sponges. Now these aren't actually for me to bathe with. I think these are going to be for me to clean with. It's a tip my mom gave me the other day about how she cleans. So I got two little sponges for that. Uh, um, or they're more like loofahs, I guess is what you would call these. Then I got these actual sponges for when I wash dishes. We got some teethers for our little guy over here. Because I think his teeth are starting to come in. Look at him going. He's on the move. 
We have a pumice stone. This is for me. Ziploc bags. I was out of these 100%, so I got some more. We got some more of these Hero Lemon Scented Trash Bags for diapers and picking up poops from our dog. Two things of soap because we went through a couple of them, so I wanted to replace them. So we got the watermelon as well as the original gold scent. These back here are for our little guy. He loves taking bubble baths. So I picked up two for him. This one is from Baby Shark, and then this one is Paw Patrol. He just likes bubble baths, and I think he likes the little characters. So I picked those up. We got some Comet Cleaner. Gonna take it, throw it back. Old school. That's how we used to clean. You pull this off in the tub. Where it's like you're seasoning food. You just sprinkle some in there, leave it for a bit, come back and get your scrub on. Some of Mrs. Myers multi-surface cleaner, you guys. This one doesn't seem to bother my husband or my family as much, the Mrs. Myers anything. So I went ahead and picked up some more of that. A new bucket. I bought a bucket like a few months back. My husband stole my bucket and he refuses to give me my bucket back. So I had to go get another bucket <laughs> to clean with. So I picked up a bucket and then I also got two things of the Lysol laundry sanitizer. You guys, I'm like, I like to have it on hand and have some kind of just hanging out under the cabinet. So when I run out, there's some there and I didn't have a backup one. So I went ahead and picked up two. And then the final things we got from Walmart, you guys, are some bouncy paper towels. We are completely out of those as well. Luckily, my husband had bought some of those paper towels from Sam's Club. And so we were still had a little bit left. So I got some of these as well as our doggies food. He has fresh pet here. This one is the chunky chicken and turkey recipe. And then this one is similar to that, but it's already broken down and he really likes this one too. So I just get both of them and we kind of alternate between the two. And then we just, you know, it works for him. His stomach isn't messed up. Um, he goes to the bathroom just fine. He's not throwing up and things like that. So we got some more fresh pet dog food for our pup. Alrighty, you guys, so that's all we got from Walmart. I will show you what we get from the other two places once we get back from them or from wherever we get them from. Um, I will show you guys that stuff once we get back. Okay, guys, so I told you that I ordered something from Amazon and I'm going to show it to you. So this is what I ordered. It's those chicken biscuit crackers. So Munchkin really, really loves these crackers. And I mean, he loves these crackers. And for some reason, once I started buying them here, they started disappearing from the shelves really fast. And it was the same thing like with the bread. Um, once I started buying it, for some reason, it started to sell out um like crazy so i went ahead and bought some from amazon and as you can see it didn't make it to the video my husband had to open some to give to the little man this morning so what this is is a six pack box of chicken biscuit crackers the original from amazon you guys i don't remember how much it was but i will leave it linked in the description box for you guys if you're interested in purchasing something like something like this let me slow down if you're interested in purchasing something like this or if you're looking for these crackers which they do have in different flavors as well then you can buy like a huge bundle of them from amazon and they deliver them right to your front door like everything else and they came within like i think two days or so so chicken biscuit crackers Oh, the reason why they came within two days is because I ordered something else. If I hadn't ordered something else, I think they would have got here faster uh, like within a day. So, chicken biscuit crackers from Amazon. Alrighty, you guys. So, we have the rest of the grocery hauls. Not too much up there, but I'll show you what we got down here first. So, we have two cases of the Nestle Pure Life water. That is our preferred water. We do have some left in the pantry because my husband had to go and pick some up. Um, and he just went to Walmart and picked up a few cases. So I think we still have two cases from Walmart, but the cases from Walmart are a little bit smaller than the ones that you get from Sam's Club. So he picked up two more of those. We got some more brisk lemon iced tea, you guys. That is for me because I've been wanting some tea. And I do find with lemon iced tea, but if I drink just straight tea sometimes, you guys, I feel like my energy just gets completely drained. So we have some lemon iced tea of the brisk little cans, which they are really, really good. Um, so I picked up some more of those. And then he picked this up. I think this is for him. So this is the half iced tea, half lemonade. You guys, I'm not sure, but I think it's the half and half. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> the reason why he drinks these is because of me. So in college, I would, when we were dating in college, I actually had these all the time. I would have a case of water and I would have these and I would just kind of carry them around with me or I would have them in my room just kind of to hang out. And when he would come over to visit me at my dorm room, he would always take one of these. And I was like, why don't you just buy your own? And he said, no, it just tastes better when I take them, when I steal them from you. And I was like, really? So every time he would come over, he would he would steal one of my my half and half teas from under my, my bed um, and take it back to his room with him. So now he drinks these. So <laughs> he got some Lifton half and half teas. Up here on the counter, we only have a few things. We have some strawberries. 
my girl Gail. My girl Gail is like my biggest influence. Not influence. What's the word I'm looking for? She's kind of a bad influence, but a good influence at the same time. Because <laughs> um, I always see the stuff that she has, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need that. So I'm going to go find me a salad spinner so I can salad spin and spin my fruit to clean it um <laughs> so i went and picked up some strawberries gail influenced me to get some more berries and some more grapes i've been wanting some i just haven't been able i don't know guys i just haven't gotten out to get them so i typically send my husband to get things for me so we got some strawberries and she did a video showing how she cleans her fruit and i am trying different ways to clean fruit you guys i've apple cider vinegar baking soda all kind of stuff so gonna be cleaning some of my fruit you guys so i got some strawberries and then we got these cotton candy grapes you guys they are so good so good um i love the cotton candy grapes, especially if they taste the way they're supposed to Ooh, these smell so good i'm smelling them already and i'm just like mm, fruit so we got these two and then we have some double a batteries we were missing we ran out of them i didn't realize until we needed some that we only had one so we went ahead and picked up another pack of double a batteries and then this is all laundry stuff we have some downy odor defense um scent booster beads in the april fresh scents shit well i guess you could pronounce it that way scent and then we also have some fabric softener in the exact same scent you guys this is just the members mark brand which is a sam's club brand but it's the same as the downy you guys it smells exactly the same works exactly the same i love it so we got these two as well for laundry so this is everything that we're going to have for the next two weeks, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, share, a thumbs up, pass it around, and please subscribe to this channel, you guys. And let me know that you are here down in the comment section. Thank you all again so much for watching. Please don't forget to, again, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.